to take a step out Get some in now, cut your edge out Touch your eyes, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need rest now, drive me warm though You so, you so, you Baby, baby, baby I remember my empty mind, shit I try to get from you, she me Welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for the love and support. If you are new, my name is Renee Polova. I hope you stay and decide to be part of this family. On this channel, we do lifestyle, we do home decor, we do a family, we also do beauty and a bit of travel here and there. So, if you like that type of content, please do consider subscribing. It would really, really mean a lot to me. So, guys. <coughs> Yo, excuse me. So this morning is a bit of a slow morning. I've been feeling a little tired, uh, but that's because my week has been hectic. So yeah, um, you would have seen me uh, just put the roses in the vase. So those roses belong to my daughter, guys. <laughs> So yesterday was her concert at school and her aunt and uncle um, bought her flowers just to say well done, congratulations, etc, etc. So those are her roses. She does not want them to be displayed anywhere else in the house except for her bedroom. So I promised, oh, sorry there's a door that's just shutting there. So I promised her that I will um, put them in the vase and then when she comes back from school we'll put them in her room. So yeah, those are those roses. Anyway, so yeah, this morning I was just reading um, the word. Hold on. I was just reading the word and yeah, it, it resonated with me so much. This is my Bible. It's cute. It's getting dirty though. <laughs> it's getting really dirty. But yeah, um, I was reading from John 15 verses 1 up to 11. I love, love, love this passage of scripture. It talks about, it's where Jesus is speaking and he's basically saying that he is the true vine and that the, the father takes away whichever branch that doesn't bear fruit, you know? Um, it's so funny that I opened the Bible and this is the scripture that I land on today because I literally was listening to Metro FM. Um, the spiritual alignment word was focus on improving and not proving and now I'm like okay and then yeah so this part in scripture basically talks about how Christ is the vine and the father is the gardener so um, and then he says the gardener who's the father takes away each branch that doesn't produce fruit right and then in verse, in verse 4 it says get your life from me and I will live in you no branch can give fruit by itself it has to get life from the vine so basically without Christ we will not be able to produce fruit we will not be able to be oh, fruitful. there's a part where it talks about let me find it quickly 
Yeah, the, it's verse 5. I am the vine and you are the branches. Get your life from me, then I will live in you and you will give much more fruit. You can do nothing without me. Yo, love the scripture, guys. It just reminds us that when we allow Christ to live in us, we are able to produce fruit. And you know what I was thinking when I was thinking about um, focus on improving and not pruning? I was thinking about this book. This book has been difficult for me to finish. I've been reading it in um, drips and draps because it is sort of like showing you your your weaknesses or the, the parts of you that self-sabotage. That's where I am, you know? And when I fell into the scripture, I thought your pruning is not nice. Just imagine yourself being a tree and being a branch and being cut being cut so that you can produce more fruit it is not nice it is painful you know but it is for a good cause and so i'm just encouraged this morning that i shouldn't shy away from improving myself i shouldn't shy away from things that appear to be painful but they will benefit me in the long run yeah so yeah i love I love the bible obviously I wanted to share with you a few of these things that I've read. Yo, this book. <laughs> Yo, this book. Um, it's triggering, but yeah, uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So um, I was focusing on the parts that uh, talk about what self-sabotage looks like and some of the things that you can do to overcome them. So the ones I've highlighted are the ones that I resonate with more. Hold on. Perfectionism is one of them. Um, and how to resolve this, it says, do not worry about doing it well, just do it. Instead of perfection, focus on progress. Instead of having something done perfectly focus on just getting it done from there you can edit build grow and develop it to exactly what your vision is i absolutely love this this re like this resonates with me so well sometimes well not sometimes all the time i want to do something perfect the first time around my wall paneling as an example you know and that actually prevents me from finishing it because I want it to be perfect. And this just reminds me that I should focus on doing it and getting it done. And then I can edit and, and, and you know, perfect it from there. But if I don't focus on getting it done, I, I will never actually do it. So I, I definitely resonate with this one. Um, then the other one, where is it? It's here. Yeah, it's under the guilt of succeeding. It's basically when you feel like, why is your life going better than people around you? I also suffer from that. Um, so the how to resolve this is just basically changing your perspective. It says money and success are tools. They buy you back time and offer you the opportunity to help, employ, influence and change others' lives. So yeah really really touched by what this says and then um how many more do i have this there's, there's quite a lot but i just wanted to to touch on, on on a few of them let me skip fear of failing because that one is quite familiar the other one is unhealthy habits so it says how to resolve this define health on your own terms what does a healthy life look like for you? How would it make you feel and what would you be doing? So it also just says, make it easy for you to succeed. So preparation is key. I, I needed to read this, especially since I'm, I'm trying to live a healthier lifestyle, going to gym, etc., etc. Yeah, I think those are the majority of the ones that I wanted to share with you that touched me. But yo, this book is triggering it is triggering i want to show you this comment it says even after all of these things right you have to disconnect the action to the feeling that's the most important lesson to overcome self-sabotage because sometimes we attach how we feel to whether or not we do something so 
if you disconnect the two, it makes it so much easier to still focus on the action and actually still get things done. So yeah, good morning, guys. Good morning. I literally <laughs> started this vlog talking quite a lot. I hope you can hear me because I'm sitting outside in my patio. The weather is quite nice. Um, but I just wanted to share a few words with you before I start my day. I don't think I'm going to do too much today. I'm going to attempt to finish this wall paneling. I know why I haven't finished it. I know what bothers me, but we're going we're gonna to do it either way. <laughs> so let's see where this vlog takes us. Cool. Good morning guys it's another day in the vlog i really didn't do much yesterday um i didn't record while making breakfast but i thought let me show you what i made i made some french toast fancy french toast actually um with fruit and bacon bacon just for the saltiness because this is going to be pretty sweet and then some juice there's the syrup we're going to pour and this is mine and this is hubby's um i think it looks cute the flowers are still here by the way um she's not grilling me about putting them in her room anymore so yeah good morning uh we do have a few things to do today um when i say we i mean me and you so yeah let's quickly eat and then we will take it from there hey guys so i'm done getting ready i'm about to leave the house um my room is a mess so please excuse it in the background i boo um i'm about to leave the house so i've got a few things to to buy my fan is slowing down <laughs> i've got a few things to buy but basically um tomorrow is clergy appreciation day so i'm gonna get some gifts for them uh clergy is pastors ne? pastors appreciation and then it's my mom's birthday next week so i think i'm just gonna get her a gift as well well this coming week actually well next week because it's still saturday so i think i'm also just gonna get her a gift um i know what she wants uh already so i'm gonna see what she, what i can buy she yeah what i can buy her and then yeah i know i'm gonna post this vlog after her birthday so it's fine and after the clergy appreciation day so maybe i'll get i'll show you what i get i also need a new washing basket for our bedroom for the dirty laundry so i'm thinking of going to find it at mr price if i find it and then yeah the kids allergies are acting up so i need to go to this camp so yeah let's see um i hope i remember to record while i'm there if i don't i'll just show you what i got when i come back cool oh i'm gonna show you my outfit but downstairs because i ain't trying to show you this room child no ways <laughs> Guys, I was trying to show you in the house, but now the kids were giving me a hassle. I'm just wearing this chilled dress 
that I always wear with these shoes in this bag. Let's go. These are the ones I wanted. Yeah. I got these. That's not new. I wasn't really successful with everything that I wanted to buy. Um, so I just focused on the important things. I'm tired. Throw your mouth up. Okay, so I went to Pep Home. And okay, really the only things I want to show you. Honestly, honestly, honestly. I'm taking out everything that doesn't have to do with <laughs> with Pepo. No, with uh, what I want to show you, I mean. Here we go. I just want to show you these baskets. These are so cute. So I bought two of them. I bought the big one and the small one. Big one and the small one. The big one is 99 and then the smaller, smaller one is 89. 10 rand difference. Yes, so you know our our closet is like an, it's like a, I almost said walk-in. I don't wanna say walk-in. I mean, open closet isn't, isn't there's no doors on them. So I wanna put stuff here at, on Hubby's side because I've managed to decorate my side a little bit. But on Hubby's side, I want to put these baskets there and hopefully this will make it a little bit neater because I think this this looks cute, man. You know? This looks cute. And then we can put the random stuff in here. So I just bought two of them for now and then I'll see if I need more. But these sell out so quick, guys. They sell out so quick. I absolutely love them. Okay. And then the other stuff are random, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna. The main thing that made me go to the shops was because I was looking for a gift bag because tomorrow is pastor's appreciation day at church. So uh, we co like collectively as the church, we bought a big 
gift we contributed towards a big gift for the pastors and then we also just added a little touch by buying individual things for the pastors so i bought some perfume for my mother in love i hope she loves it um yeah it's a gift set i don't know if i should show you but i mean i am gonna post this vlog i am gonna post this vlog after like yeah after she's already seen her gift so i got this gift set um it's an elizabeth Arden gift set it's called white tea i think i like how it smells um and this is how it looks Ooh, it's a bit dusty so it's a perfume and a hand lotion and a hand lotion i think this is quite cute i don't want to mention prices will she see this mother Will she see it? <laughs> hey, you guys will check for yourself if if you really want to buy it. But yeah, it smells nice. It smells... I wish I could read the notes to you. But I can't really see them here. Yeah, it smells nice. Um, When I asked my husband what her favorite scent is, he was saying something vanillary, and I was trying to find something close to vanilla within our budget. Um, but I think she might also like this. It's quite fresh, and it feels like it would last the whole day with just a few sprays, honestly. Okay, and then I went to Mr. Price. I will not show you the stuff I got for my daughter. She just needed underwear, so I will not show you that. But basically the only two things I bought for myself, well, three are this, okay, two of these lip oils. So, you know, I don't know, okay, it's the Scarlet Hills, Hill ones. I don't know how they are. I'm going to test it out just now. Yo, it's sealed. Yeah, I'm going to test it out just now because the, and this is coconut cream flavored lip oil. And this is going for 25 Rand 99. Um, I don't know how they are, but I hope they're good because the one from Discam that I love so much is really a scam. Yo, guys, the ghetto in me. <laughs> and I don't even know how many people have been touching these things. But I'm opening it with my mouth because what must happen? So Oopsie. So let's see. Mm. I mean, the one, the the essence one is much thicker, you know. But I'm not mad at it. I feel like it will do the job. Yo, I still have my bag on Ghanaian. Well, I'll just put it in my one of them in my bag. I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's twenty, it's twenty five rand. So that's the beauty of buying things that are reasonable. <laughs> and then I thought I liked these shades. These were sixty nine ninety nine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought I liked them. I feel like I need to remove this thing. Hold on. I feel like I like them, but I don't know. That's how they look. Not sure if they suit me. Yeah, I think they do. I think they do. They have these in black as well. I just felt like the black was too dark for me. Yeah, I actually wanted the Celine dupes. I'll put a picture of them. I wanted them, ne? um but then when i tried them on i just feel like they really really don't suit me so yeah yeah i left them one thing about influencers guys yo they will convince us on something and then you buy it and then you regret so <laughs> luckily i decided to check them out in the store and i was like oh it's not for me it doesn't it doesn't complement my facial structure anyway like so yeah I left it at that and then what else do i want to show you oh yeah then i went to at home um and at, at home i bought my room spray the one i love love so much 
I usually keep two around the house, but I bought one. Um, this is one forty nine, and it's this one. Oh, if you want your house to smell like luxury, do not sleep on this girl. Okay, let me even show you. Let's see, this one is finished. Can you see how much is left? So yeah, and the one downstairs is also finished because I sprayed on my curtains. I absolutely love this girl. Okay. And then I also bought the re refill for the diffuser. So I'm going to refill my diffuser. It's not a, yeah, it's a diffuser, isn't it? Yes. I'm going to refill my diffuser because it's completely done. So... Yeah, I bought this as well. And this is $3.99. Absolutely love these things. And they last so long, guys. I think the last time I bought them was over six months ago. I don't know. So, yeah. Then, lastly, Woolworths. I needed sandals. And I needed sandals because my sandals are like... So I saw these and I thought they were quite cute. Hold on. I thought they were quite cute. I thought they were quite cute. So I got these. I think they look like the Gucci ones, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these were going for $2.99. Um, the reason I love these is because they've slightly got a small heel, so they're not completely flat, flat. And this, um, I don't know if it's leather, guys, but this is so comfortable. Did I take a size five, child? I thought I took a six. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I need to fit them. Didn't I fit a six in the shop? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, way. Okay, they're fine. Yo. <laughs> I was legit getting stressed. Okay, they're fine. Because, yo, son, Because, like, because of how thin they are, ne? my foot is quite chubby. So, with these type of shoes, I always just go for, like, a slightly bigger size. So, I could have sworn I fit a six in the shop. Or maybe it was another shoe. I don't know. But yeah, they fit. So I'm happy. I love these. And then, yeah, that's the last thing I bought. Oh, and for those of you thinking about having kids, I went to just Kim for my babies. And I spent lots of money. Lots of money. I want to show you. I spent, oh, can you even see, 755 on medicine. Young if I can go on medication. On medication. This is your sign to prevent, Miguel. It is your sign. If you didn't plan for those kids, huh? Anyway, guys, I'm done talking. <laughs> I don't want this vlog to be super long, but I think I'm still going to push it until next week um, because I do have to get one more gift, which is for my mom for her birthday. Um, so yeah, I'll see how far I get along with this vlog. So yeah, I'm not going to record for the rest of the evening. I've got worship team practice. Like, how busy, how busy. I want to relax for literally 10 minutes before I have to leave. So yeah. <laughs> morning guys it is a monday i am off to gym i've actually had a busy morning it's only half past nine but it's been so busy so i dropped off the kids and then i, I dropped off my mom she stepped over today so i dropped her off at home um yeah i needed to drop her off today she was supposed to stay longer but i don't want to get into that um and then i realized that i didn't bring my earphones to gym so i went back home only to find that actually they have his earphones but what's his is mine only to find that he can't find them so now 
um i've decided to firstly go into game before i go to gym because i cannot am i the only one i cannot gym without music or listening to a podcast or something like i can't gym to the music that they play at gym <laughs> so yeah and my energy is but i thought let me just let me just like go now in the morning before i change my mind son yeah so let's do this oh excuse the lighting guys i know it's dark i just wanted to show you the earphones i bought these earphones for 200 bucks <laughs> i just want something for now yes that's all cool Hey guys, it's later on in the afternoon and yo, I like I got back from gym. I was hungry, but I needed to order some stuff. So I ate late and then I was just tired. Yo, <laughs> you know when you miss a week of gym, when you go back, it's like So yeah, I just come back from fetching the kids and I'm about to cook. Um depending on how the lighting is uh, I will cook with you guys if it's terrible then I'll just show you what I made <laughs> uh, if you can hear some noise in the background it's my microwave it's currently defrosting the meat um, and then obviously the kids tablets so yeah they're on the floor that's why you can't see them <laughs> anyway uh, let's get cooking cool
So dinner is served. That's hubby's. This is mine. Um, my helpers. And then the kids. So I just basically made mash with um, lamb. Um, and what you call this thing? <laughs> Mushroom sauce and then uh, these mixed veggies. Yeah. Let's eat. Oh 